Hello ladies and gentlemen of the Speed Force, welcome to a brand new Flash trailer breakdown. I thought I'd cover this one because why not? I've covered the last couple of episodes and this one looks fairly interesting because we are nearing the end of Barry's speed and nearing the beginning of a new Speed Force. So just in case you guys haven't seen this trailer already, I'm going to go ahead and play it. And then as usual, we're going to go in and break it down. Barry, your speed. It's getting worse. I'm barely hanging on. I can't catch my breath. All I can think about is if I'll be fast enough to save another life. Flash is losing his speed. Drain him of the rest. Now, you may have noticed, guys, that this episode is airing on April 7th. I believe it was going to air on March 31st, but that will be a replay of Grodd Friended Me. So, yeah, there, there's a, there's quite a bit of delay going on in the world right now due to the illness. Us YouTubers can't say it because of uh, demonetization. <laughs> a lot of people were asking that in my past couple of videos when I've been speaking about it. Yes, really, like, it's a bot thing on YouTube. I guess the bot's just like, screw this, I'm going to flag this. You get the idea. So, can't mention anything... More more than the illness. But yeah, suffice to say, it sucks. We're not going to have this episode for quite a while. And then it's a whole mystery as to what's even going to happen with this season, which I went over in a video the other day titled what delays could mean for Titans, Doom Patrol, Lucifer, the Arrowverse and more. So check that video out. It will be in the cards above. That isn't just like a quick shameless plug in a way. I mean, it, well, it kind of is. But if you somewhat want an understanding of how this illness is affecting shows and production, then I recommend checking out that video. And since The Flash is stop production it looks like we could be getting a shorter season so i'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis out for this episode which is as follows after black hole hires ragdoll to kill joe sing suggests that he goes into witness protection but joe refuses to stop investigating carver now while investigating carver with cisco ralph runs into sue iris becomes suspicious of Ava. Now, there, there's quite a few things to this trailer. I mean, as usual, I swear they're getting shorter and shorter every year, but there's still quite a bit we can break down. Check out my review from yesterday if you haven't seen it already. Uh, the Reverse Flash-centric episode, I had quite a bit to say about it, so I'd love to see your feedback on that just in case you haven't seen it. But yeah, like, there's quite a bit of bleed-through effects from that episode because Barry, of course, is losing his speed, and in this episode, I think it will end with him ha actually have, you know, juiced out that battery, so to speak. Like, there'll be no juice left in the pack and it will be really about stepping up with that plan to create a new speed force with Nora's journal as teased by the end of the episode since Eobard Thorn taught her everything he knew they will have the keys to create a speed force which I'm sure will be a very positive speed force to kind of parallel Eobard's very negative one even though it's kind of a bit confusing why would he teach Nora that when she was already connected to a speed force now in this episode and from what we can see from the trailer Ragdoll is returning now is anyone excited about that I mean my personally my thoughts is like I, I wouldn't say I'm excited to put it very bluntly I'm not excited just because the episodes he has been in they've, they've been okay I wouldn't exactly call them scary maybe that's just because I watch a lot of scary things uh, I, I feel like it's an interesting character in terms of obviously uh, just his ability to manipulate his body like that is pretty insane being a contortionist is very accurate for this character but yeah I just I don't know if it's going to provide for an interesting episode in terms of I guess you could say the the meta of the week but at least it's a familiar one I suppose and whatever sets up the story for what I'm more interested in because this trailer shows quite a bit of drama with Barry's speed obviously just before seeing Ragdoll in the trailer we see Iris talking to Barry about his speed and obviously we see on his little speed gauge there that it's red uh, I think no matter what he's going to be using it quite to the point of where I teased earlier with how there's not going to be any juice left in the pack and we even see at one point in this trailer kind of just skipping to that moment that he's trying to save someone and I, I don't know I don't know like teasers like this always get me when there's like Grant Gustin's dramatic face there's a bit of speed force lightning there and you see him trying to catch a bullet I don't know it's just uh, it's like oh my god what's gonna happen I have learned from the past that maybe it won't be as dramatic as what this moment is making out to be as much as I would love for them to go as brave and bold as being like okay this person right here is getting shot now from the previous frame we see Joe putting up his gun uh, he's fighting Ragnar 
doll in this room here. So they are making it look like Joe is about to get shot, but like it's kind of hard to tell exactly just because, you know, trailers when they're put together, you, you never know. But ultimately, Barry can't even, you know, the Flash should be able to outrun a bullet, obviously, but he is really trailing behind this bullet. I mean, look how close that is to hitting that person there. And we see the, like, the look on Barry's face. And, and obviously, we see in the trailer as well, Barry getting really stressed about and even saying, I don't know if I'm going to be fast enough to save another life. But just looking at this bullet again, I could be wrong. It looks like the bullet is going to hit this person in the arm or the shoulder. So maybe Joe, if it is Joe, will get shot, but he'll just be hospitalized and it'll just be like a flesh wound um, and he'll be okay. But it will still make Barry stressed to the point of thinking like, oh, you could have died and I couldn't do anything about that. And it, this just reminds me of the whole, like even the line that Barry said, you know, I'm just worried that I'm not going to be fast enough to save another life. He's been saying that since like season one. But to be fair to him, obviously his speed is running out. And I think one of the main majority reasons as to why he would have lost quite a bit of his speed and as to why he can't save this other person, possibly being Joe later on in the episode, is because it looks like he might already save Cecile from Ragdoll. So by the time he's already spent that speed saving her and then he has to go save Joe, he just won't have enough left to do it. But there's another little interesting twist on this in the trailer as well. And I know people are getting a bit, a little bit tired of how long this storyline is taking. And I, I see what they're going for in The Flash, but I think this is the episode that they should pull Ava and Iris and Camilla out of the Mirrorverse. And that may very well happen. I've got a feeling that it kind of won't know. I think it will still be dragged out a teeny bit longer. But the reason why it could be very much so nearing that is because we see Ava talking to Iris about, yeah, like, let, let's kind of drain The Flash's speed. She's all about that. So I'm guessing it's kind of from the sense that she knows when she comes out of the Mirrorverse, so she's not going to be the greatest person and she doesn't want the Flash to be in her way. So she wants to make sure that when she obviously is getting ready to leave, that there is absolutely no threat. And the Flash having no speed means that would be the perfect time to do that. And I feel like I can kind of see where things may go. Mirror Master will be fully revealed once she's in the real world. Barry still may not have his speed and Team Flash are going to be in this kind of crisis like, oh crap, what are we going to do? I have no speed. And now we have Ava McCulloch who has fully kind of revealed herself as this really fully fledged new version of Mirror Master, if you will. And that is when likely Barry will have made this new speed force and God knows what that will come along with. Maybe some new creative powers, some overpoweredness within itself, since he will be like the actual very creator of his own speed force. Uh, so that would be really cool. And then the season will be kind of nearing its end with Barry fully energized with his own unique cr created speed force against Mirror Master, who has been running around for a couple of episodes, potentially having escaped the Mirrorverse, either this episode or the next episode. We're just going to have to wait and see, but there's also something else to consider. And by the way, I'm, I'm not saying what I just said will happen. That's just a rough idea of where I think things could go. I, I mean, obviously, we know Barry's going to lose his speed. We know Ava's going to get out of the Mirrorverse. She's probably going to reveal herself, and then Barry's going to have to get his speed again to take her on. But the thing is, obviously, the Flash has stopped production on around episode 19 or 20. I think it's 20. Uh, and I think it is going to look like we're going to get a season cut short. Now, obviously, they're going to do their absolute best to try and make it seem like an ending of sorts, even though we're not going to get that fully satisfying ending. Because as we're used to, guys, we get 22 episodes a season and that allows for the arcs to play out fully. But the thing is, no matter what they do, if they haven't filmed those finale moments, I just don't see, and I'm not trying to be negative here, I, I'm just genuinely trying to say I don't see how how it's going to feel like a finale because they just haven't filmed any of those concluding storyline finale scenes. So I just feel like it might, they might try and end it on a to be continued moment. And that's the best they'll be able to pull out the bag because if they've only shot scenes up to around episode 20, and they had episode 21, episode 22, unless they shot some scenes out of order, which I, I, to my knowledge, I don't think they do. They do usually do it episode by episode. I think this season won't resolve in the way they obviously originally intended it to, um, which will make things very interesting for how things are going to move forward. But other than that, everyone, that is the gist of this trailer. I don't want to drag it out any more than what the trailer even shows us. And I feel like we've been over everything. So I would just love to hear your theories down in the comments below. As I said, check out my review from yesterday. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. But also just let me know what videos you want to see in the next couple of weeks that is Flash related or maybe even just any other videos because obviously this is a time we're on a little bit of a break from TV shows so we can speculate and do some other types of videos uh, that 
you guys may want to see on the channel. Also, if you want a place to hang out because, you know, everyone's kind of at home at the minute, or at least most people are starting to either work from home or stay from home, you can join my Discord server. I'm very active in it myself. I like to join the voice chat. So if you want to talk about The Flash and even theorize and talk with me over text chat over there and many other people, so we've got quite a lot of members in that community, I would love to see you there. The link is usually in the top pin comment or in the description of this video. Other than that, you can uh, just support the channel by leaving a like on this video, um, subscribing for more Flash content like this. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you speedsters in the next video. Goodbye.